nothing in your life just happened. Your life is not over. You're not too old. It's not too late. God knows about your limitations. Whatever God has predetermined to happen will come to pass. And no devil in hell has ever been able to abort the purpose of God not once. Your mistakes were in his will. Your trouble was in his will. I don't care what you went through. David said, if I make my bed in hell, God is still there. He was with you in the middle of your trouble. He was with you in the middle of your pain. You ought to shout, I don't care where you are, because nothing just happens. The reason we worship him as God is because he is the CEO. He runs the universe. Think about the most damnable thing that ever happened and shout nothing. Think about the most embarrassing thing that ever happened in your life and shout nothing. Think about people who loved you and walked out and left you and shout nothing. Think about the struggle going on on your job right now and shout nothing. There's a reason why it happened at this age. It's not a mistake. It's not an accident. God didn't fall asleep on the job and the devil came in and wrecked the car. He's in complete control and he knows where you are and he knows how old you are and he knows what happened to you and he knows who walked out and left you and he knows about your bills and he knows about what you didn't get and he knows about the health of your child. Understand that and tell yourself nothing just happens and hear me when I tell you this when people can walk away from you let them walk I don't want you to try to talk another person into staying with you loving you coming to see you staying attached to you I mean hang up the phone when people can walk away from you let them walk People leave you because they're not joined to you. And if they're not joined to you, you get super glue and you can't make them stay. Let them go. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he made moves you wouldn't make. We all have things happen to us in life that we don't understand. We worked hard, but we didn't get the promotion. Or people that have turned on us. It's easy to live frustrated and fight against everything we don't like. We think that it's holding us back. But Psalm 119 says, everything serves his plan. The betrayals are serving his plan. The person that walked away is serving his plan. If that wouldn't have happened, you couldn't reach your destiny. What you couldn't see was God had something better. You may not like it, it doesn't seem fair, but it's serving His plan. When you understand that everything serves His plan, then you won't live frustrated when something unfair happens. The person that walked away wasn't a coincidence, it was God moving them away. We need to see difficulties in a new light. You can't reach your destiny without opposition, without betrayals. Why are you upset over something that's designed to move you forward? God wouldn't have allowed it if he didn't have a purpose. Nothing can happen to you without his permission. How do you know that closed door, that bad break, that disappointment is not setting you up for something that you've never seen? That co-worker that always gets on your nerves. You know why they haven't moved? They're serving you. God is using them like sandpaper to rub the rough edges off of you. The scripture says our steps are being ordered by the Lord. Don't be upset over that person that's trying to make you look bad. You need them to reach your destiny. God doesn't take us in a straight line. Sometimes it's going to feel like you're going backwards. You have to trust him when you don't understand. That's why Paul said, all things work together for good to those that love the Lord. All things may not be good. The loss isn't good, but the promise is it's going to work out for your good. 
Now the test, while it's not good, will you stay in faith? Will you believe that God is still on the throne? That what he started in your life, he's going to finish? Many of the challenges that you're facing now, they don't have anything to do with now. It's positioning you for something in your future. You will see how God will begin to connect the dots. There was a man out in his boat. Big storm came up and his boat capsized. But he ended up stranded on a deserted island all by himself. He kept praying and praying for God to send somebody, but it seemed like the heavens were silent. One day, while he was out gathering food, when he came back, the small thatched roof hut that he had built somehow caught on fire. It was like pouring salt on the wound. About an hour later, he saw a boat way off in the distance. It kept getting closer and closer. Sure enough, it was the Coast Guard coming to rescue him said, how in the world did you find me? The captain said, we saw the smoke coming from the fire that you built. Sometimes what we think is a disappointment is really God positioning us for a new level. If your hut's on fire today, instead of being bitter, have a new perspective. It's serving his plan. It may not make sense now, the betrayal, the closed doors can be discouraging. But you have to keep reminding yourself, it's not working against you, it's working for you. Sometimes God is not removing the obstacle because he's using the obstacle to get us prepared. We don't grow in the good times. We prefer that much better, but we wouldn't reach our potential. We grow when it's difficult. That's why you can't pray away every challenge. If the situation is not changing, then God is using the situation to change you. If God made everything easy for us, we wouldn't be ready for where we're going. God has amazing things in your future. But to get there, you're going to have to defeat some big giants, outlast some strong opposition. You have to stand strong and show the opposition that you're more determined than they are. Every day you stay in faith, you thank God when nothing's happening, your spiritual muscles are growing. You're getting stronger, more determined, developing a greater trust in God. Keep the right attitude. Keep doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. Don't be discouraged because nothing's happening on the outside. Something's happening on the inside. You're getting stronger. God didn't lessen what came against you. He simply added to your strength. Now you can handle what you couldn't handle in the past. You may have been dealing with situations for a long time that are not improving. I believe right now grace is coming on you in a new way. God is breathing strength into you, fresh passion, a second wind, so you can outlast what's trying to stop you. Don't go around, why did the door close? Why did these people betray me? Oh, turn it around. Father, thank you that your grace is sufficient. I may not understand it, but I know it's serving your plan. And I believe when it's all said and done, I'm not only going to come out, I'm going to come out better. God is saying to you today, everything that's come against you is going to turn out for your good. Perhaps your hut is on fire today. What you can't see is the Most High God is on the way. Something that looked permanent is about to suddenly turn around. I'm asking you to trust Him when you don't understand. Stay in peace. Everything serves His plan. I say that because sometimes you're whining about things that really don't matter. But if you were smart, you would learn how to count your blessings and to thank God for what he's done in your life.